Hey Tiff, sorry to have done this again, but I've got crazy amount of work that I really need to finish tonight. Oh, here we go again. I'm gonna have to cancel our dinner date, but I promise you that when the time is right and I'm done with the project, I'll bring you to even a better dinner. We can even go out of town. You said that last month, the other month and months before. You've cancelled our dinner date like five times now, Dad. If you really don't want to spend time with me, just be honest with me. I don't like having to beg my own father to spend time with me. You know it's not like that, Tiff. I promise you, no more cancelling next time. You know what? I know you love getting on a cruise like we did when you were younger. Let's do that again. Really? Thank you, Dad. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, guess we're staying at home again tonight. Oh no! Your dad can't make it again? Yeah, he said he's really busy with work and needs to finish some project. It sucks, I feel like he's slowly distancing himself from me. We used to be so close, but once he started working for my grandpa's company, he's been super busy. Well, yeah, I get that, but I mean, at least you have a dad who can get you everything that you want. You should be grateful for that. I can't even ask my dad for anything new. It's always the same and no money excuse. I guess you're right. He did say he's going to take me on a cruise, so I'm super excited. Wow, a cruise? That sounds super expensive. I wish I could go too. Few days later. Hey Jess, they're opening a new ice skate rink near the Miracle Mall. Let's go there together. I heard it is so much better than the one we used to go to. We can practice our routine again. Hey Tiff, sorry, but I don't think I can go. Why not? Are you okay? Well, I've just been super unwell. I think I want to get a rest instead. I don't want to give everyone my cold when I go to the ice skate ring. Hmm, you're still sick? I remember last week you said the same thing. Are you avoiding me? Is something going on? What? <laughs> no, I'm not avoiding you. I'm j I just really am sick. I must have gone in from my mom or something. Can't go out. You have fun though, girly. Okay then. I hope you get better soon. I really miss hanging out with you. I'll send you some care package. Hey dad, they're opening a new ice skate rink nearby the mall and I would love to go with you. I remember it was one of our Sunday's activities when I was a kid. I asked Jess but she said she's feeling really unwell so I didn't really want to bother her. Oh boy. Is Jessica okay? Why is she sick? Did she tell you the reason? <laughs> Has she gotten her medicine yet? Um, uh, I don't know. It's probably just a cold. She's not telling me much. I didn't know you cared that much about her. Of course I care about her. She's my daughter's friend. That's so sweet of you. Anyway, can you go? Sorry, Tiff. Bad timing. I am really caught up with work. Alright, I kind of expected it anyway. That's okay, I'll just find someone else to go with. But I really can't wait for the cruise trip. Yeah, about that? No, no way! Are you kidding me? Dad, again? Listen, Tiff, I suddenly have an emergency business meeting and it clashes with the date of the cruise trip. I try getting out of it, but it is really impossible. The team really counted on me, and I just can't leave them so that I can go on a trip whereas they're working. Of course. Work matters more than me. I'm sorry, I didn't know that spending time with your only daughter makes you a horrible boss. I should have known. It's not like that, to. A couple of days later. Hey Dan, where are you? Mom and I are looking for you. We've cooked a nice dinner for us three to enjoy together. I've already informed you this morning to not be late. I'll be there, my love. I miss you so much too. I can't wait to be spending time with you a lot. Uh, what? Why are you speaking to me like that? Oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. It was a mistake. Don't worry, please. Don't think about it. I'll be back for dinner soon. Dad? I don't get it. Who was that for? Was it for mom? But she doesn't have her phone with her. Dad? Tiffany managed to snoop in her dad's phone and got the number of his suspected mistress. Hello? Who the hell are you? What the fuck do you think you're doing with my dad? You dirty whore? Why are you trying to ruin his marriage? Answer me. I know you're reading this. What business do you have with my dad? 
What are you trying to do to our family? Oh, Tiffany. I've always known that you're such a spoiled brat. How dare you speak to me that way? Have you not learned how to be respectful? With all those money and wealth and yet you can't learn to speak politely. You've got to be kidding me. Politely? Why should I be polite to you when it is obvious that you and my dad have something going on? I've often heard that you are one ungrateful child. Now I'm experiencing it myself. The tale is true. All those wealth can't teach you a proper way to behave. This is why people like you don't deserve to be rich. Don't worry. Maybe soon enough when you're out living on the street, you'll know who I am. Perhaps my name will be the only name you can call out during those horrible times. You wait and see. Wow, making no attempt to even hide the fact that you're one disgusting gold digger. You're trying to ruin someone's marriage just for money? How freaking desperate are you? Haha, <laughs> you're funny, really. Your entitlement won't last. I'm not ruining any marriages. Your parents' marriage is ruined the moment your dad decided that he loves me more and that he wants to give me everything. Your dad wants me. Why wouldn't I want him back? He gives me 10k a month. If I wanted more, he would be on my feet giving me more. That wealth, it would send me into a wonderful new life than one I am living now. I'm gonna leave this slum and I will do whatever it takes. Who would have said no to that? You're disgusting and I can't believe my dad ever wanted to be with someone like you. <laughs> oh, what an innocent child. You really think your father is one devoted husband who goes home to love you and your mom? Think again. I can't believe you did all this to ruin your marriage and hurt mom. Mom has been with you from the start. Is this how you repay her? Is she the first mistress? Do you have more? How long has it been? Is this why you never have time to have dinner with us? Is this why you're never able to make it to our dinner date? For a disgusting woman who only wants you for your money? Hey Jess, truly heartbroken tonight. I can't believe that my dad, someone I've loved and trusted all these times, is trying to ruin our family. I can't believe that he would even cheat on my mom. My mom has been with him from the start. After everything they've been through together, to be here, he cheated on her with some vile disgusting woman who only wants his money. I can't believe he even fell for those. Sure, she was desperate for his money, but what was he so desperate about when it comes to her? I can't believe this. Hey Jazz, are you there? Why are you only leaving me on read? Are you okay? A week later. Hi Tip, sorry for not replying to you. The heck Jess, what the hell happened? You ghosted me for a week, didn't reply to text, didn't answer my call, and you weren't even home when I came. Hey, sorry, I was really sick, and I was just staying at home. I must not have heard it when you came to my house. My phone hasn't been working so well either. So sorry to worry you. You said that last time too. I don't understand why you keep on making all these excuses. If you don't want to talk to me anymore, you could have just told me. Jess, Tiff, why are you being so entitled? People have problems, okay? You're not necessarily involved in it. I was sick and that's all to it. Taylor said he saw you on a cruise the other day. I mean, it couldn't have been you, right? And why is that? Because I'm poor? Because I'm not as rich as you are to be on cruise? Because all these fancy things are only meant for someone like you are? Wait, why are you so angry? I was just confirming it. You said you were sick, so it couldn't have been you. Of, of course. It's not me. I was home the whole week, I told you. Stop questioning me. You're making me feel even worse. Calm down, Jess. Why are you suddenly losing it for no reason? I was just asking a genuine question. Just give me some space, please. I really want to be alone. You're stressing me out. Few hours later. What the hell do you think you're doing? You will never succeed in making your dad hate me. I will always be here with him and I will destroy everything if I have to. Me? What am I doing? 
What are you doing? Aren't you ashamed of yourself for what you're doing? You're sticking to him like a leech. You think you're above everything? I'll prove to you that you will never make it any further than what you have already done. Haha, <laughs> child. Your father has proven that he loves me more than you and your mom combined together. Remember that cruise you were supposed to go? Right, I went on that cruise last week with my daughter and your dad. See? It isn't so hard for your dad to change his mind. After all, even I am capable of providing him the same family he's about to let go. No, you must be kidding. What do you mean you went on a cruise? He went on a business trip and that's why he couldn't go on a cruise with me. It has nothing to do with you. Oh, you poor, poor, stupid thing. You really still think that? To him, you are nothing but a spoiled brat and he can't wait to get rid of you and your stupid face. Fuck you. Either you tell me who she is or I will never ever speak to you again. Tiff, please stop. You don't have to know who she is. Look, I know I screwed up. But I love you just the same. You're my daughter. You will always be my daughter. Even if your mom and I are no longer together at some point, you are still going to be my daughter. What are you saying? Are you planning to divorce mom? Are you out of your mind? You can't do that. I'm just going to say this one more time. Tell me who this woman is or I will disappear completely from your life. I won't do it so quietly. I will expose you to the world. Don't be crazy, Tiff. Tell me! Fine. You know her. What? It's Celine, Jessica's mother. What? What the fuck? So it's true. Jessica went on a cruise with you and her mom. The cruise I was supposed to go to. You fucking liar. How could you? Does she know? How long has this been? Yes, she knows. It has been almost a year. I'm so disappointed in you. I thought you were better than this. Tis. I can't believe this is what you do to me after being best friends for years. You are out of your mind. Saying you've been sick? You can't afford a cruise? Oh, screw you. You're even more disgusting than your mistress mother. You, my best friend for years. We shared everything together. This is what you did to me? Oh, please, Tiffany. Let's not be this dramatic. I've never thought of you as my best friend. You're just a key to my long-term plan. Ever since I laid my eyes on you, all I dreamed of was what you have. I didn't want to be a friend. I wanted to be you. How is it fair for you to live your life without having to worry about anything, whereas I was struggling to think of tomorrow? You are not above me just because you're rich. But I would have helped you. I tried. You refused. And this is what you do? Help me? Like a stray dog? Don't be silly. I don't need your help. You are already helping me by being my friend. Inviting me and my mom to your home for meals. I needed nothing more than that. We just needed to get to know your dad. What a wonderful man he is, isn't he, Tiff? He took me on a cruise to dinner date with me monthly. Gives me 5k of allowance. You're sick. How could you do that to me? All for money? It's not enough that you want the money, you even are trying to take away my dad. What the hell is wrong with you and your mom? Oh, James, just wait a little bit more. You will be begging on your knees after he left you and your mom completely. If I were you, I'll start looking for a new place to live. Listen, Jess, I will not ever let this slide. You will not win this. A few days later. What the hell do you think you're doing? How dare you get my dad involved? Oh no. Did he talk to you about how much of a money-hungry you and your mom are? Last time I talked to him, he was so embarrassed by it. Must be surprised that his wife and daughter turn out to be like this. Wait, should I say ex-wife? You're out of line this time, Tiffany. How dare you try to ruin my family? Funny you mentioned that. Feels like I said the same thing to you last time. Fine. Enjoy this while you can. You won't be laughing anymore when my mom and I completely took over your dad's wealth. Yeah, I wouldn't get my hopes up about that. You'll see. What are you doing? Why are you getting Jessica's dad involved? Oh, dad, I don't think that's what you should be worried about for now. 
you're not so innocent either. Those poor people, do they have any idea that your wealth is never yours? The house, the company, those savings, do they know? Those allowances of 10k, 5k you were giving them, have you forgotten where they're from? I wonder if mom has checked the account lately. Tith, you don't want to get your mom involved. You will hurt her. Oh, the nerve you have to say that. You've hurt her the moment you thought of cheating. She will not be happy to know that you're out there getting mistress with her money. She will kick you out as soon as she can. You'll be miserable. Tith, please don't do this. I was wrong. I will drop them. We can be happy family again. Please don't do this. What did you do before when I begged you to spend more time with me? Tith, I'm so sorry. Please don't tell your mom. We'll forget about this and put it behind us. Please, Tith. A few days later. Tith, look. I know I made a mistake. I realize that now. I still love you. You are my best friend. I'll help you and your mom. What are you even talking about? I'll testify for the divorce. I'll be the key witness of the conversation between my mom and your dad. That way they won't get anything. That's what you want, right? It will help you and you guys will still have everything even after the divorce. And? I need something to get back on my feet. I'm about to lose everything. I will help you for 10k. Please, that's all I ask for. Oh, Jessica, my dearest, you plotted a whole cheating plan with your mom and my dad, and you still think you're going to get anything from me? I don't need you. I hope you and your mom rot in hell. How could you do this? I'm your father. You have ruined my life. I bet you didn't think about that when you started cheating. Why regret it now? Did you ever think you were going to get away? I've lost my job now, Tiff. What else do you want? I've learned my lesson. Please, ask your mom to answer my call. I really need to talk to her. She doesn't need you. We don't need you at all anymore. Please just leave us alone and never show your face. I'd rather not have a father than one that acts like you. Please, Tiff, I have nothing now. I've lost most of my money. I don't have a job. I don't even have enough to rent a place. I don't even have a place to sleep tonight. You have to help me, Tiff. I will be better again for you and your mom. Give me another chance. I'm going to block you. How fucking dare you ruin my life like this? Haven't you had enough? You grew up with all these riches. We'll kill you to give us a portion of it. Celine, please, let's not act like you were only interested in taking a portion of whatever my mom and I have. Fuck you, you entitled brat. I will destroy you when I see you next. How dare you ruin my life. Well, you might have something better to take care of before that. What the hell? Ungrateful daughter. Great. Not only did you ruin my relationship with my husband, but also my daughter. After that, upon learning about the cheating, Tiffany's mom divorced her dad, transferred all of their money out of their joint bank account and kicked him out of the house. He was also fired from his job as well as he was working under Tiffany's mom's company. They have completely cut off contact with him. Celine dumped him as well as he was no longer the rich guy she wanted. She has to move into a small town and work as a maid in another rich people's house. It's not so great for Jessica either. In the end, she has to live with her father who hates her for supporting her mother to cheat on him and has to live a miserable life. On top of that, she's no longer in a good relationship with her mom due to her attempt of betrayal. Tiffany and her mom learn not to trust people again and live a better life without the father. The end. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing.